How's it going folks? Just cleaning out the radial flow filter for the first time in the new aquaponics app and I thought I'd just bring you along. Uh, the reason I'm decided to do it today is because I've just fitted these Y fittings in. They're a little 25mm or 1 inch barb jobby. Um, I'll put a link to the Australian distributor here in the description below. Um, so thank you very much to everyone in the States and all around the world who offered to try and get some of these for me. Thank you very much guys, I really appreciate it. But I ended up sourcing them locally. These guys were easy enough to fit in, I've just pushed them through the pipe and used the stainless steel. 316 hose clamps so finally got around to doing it today um, they're in there I haven't fired it back up yet we'll wait and see what it looks like but I'm taking um, the time while the, the pumps all turned off to clean out the radial flow filter it was getting pretty bad in there actually I had to scoop out some um, floating bits and pieces but you know that happens um, also too I'll show you a few other things that I need to fix up in the system as well so anyway I'll get to it and I'll show you how I clean out the base of the filter it's pretty easy really. So that's the radial flow filter there and as you can see I've got a little tap fitting on this side here with a hose in it. That hose runs all the way down into the sump tank just over there so it's basically reducing the level of water that will be going to waste in the radial flow filter. So I'd say pretty much all close to oh, about, 100 and, about 160 or so litres of water gets saved and put through the system. I don't have to flush it out with all the wastewater. Um, I'll just bring you over and show you what it looks like inside. So as you can see there's a few bits of solid just caked up around the side there and it's fairly thick on the base. Um, that's just the inlet. As you can see there, there's um, some of the solids. Um, you can see on the base, you can actually see the base. I think some of the solids have decided to get a bit gaseous and they're floated up. I managed to get a couple of handfuls, <laughs> scooped them out and threw them out before, um, just as I was mucking around in here. So yeah, definitely left it too long. Probably should have cleaned it out about a week ago, I think, um, if not sooner. I did find in the original setup with the radial flow filter, I was cleaning it out every week and then I stretched it out to two weeks and I stretched it out to three weeks. And I pretty much all things three to three to four weeks with the load I had in it at that time was enough. I'll just whip around and set up that pump there and away we go. Oh by the way the fish the fish have plenty of air while this is going on I've got the backup air pump going so it's bubbling away nicely. So before I start pumping this out I'm going to give it a bit of a blast with the hose just to get all those solids down the bottom. So there's the little pump assembly there. It's just through a bit of a dodgy fitting I made up using a uh, one inch to an inch and a half or 25 to 40 mil uniseal assembly. Um, I've shown that in other clips. And on the other end of that, I have a bit of a drain to waste assembly that sucks water from the base. As you can see, the hole's a little bit uh, far up the side of the tank there. So from there, the water will be coming down into this bucket just below the tripod here. And I'll turn it all on and give you a bit of a look at what it looks like. And away we go. So as you can see, it's pretty mucky in there, so... Get ready for another bucket here. I'm just turning around those solids down the base there. I've just filled up a little bit of extra water and it's just overflowed the bucket all over onto my leg. But there you go, that just gives you a bit of an idea on how that attachment works. There we go. That's pretty much all, all of it. We'll suck a little bit more out. But yeah, that's pretty much all it. As you can see, there's very little solids left on the bottom, so better disconnect this pump. So there's a bit of a look at the gunk. Very nice and shiny, getting a lot of reflection, but take my word for it, it's pretty nasty looking stuff. Not that stinky though, so it's not that bad. So now all I have to do is just turn that um, valve off there. Uh, this pump can stay there and I'll get the water back flowing through the system and give you a bit of a look. Everything is bubbling away nicely in the biofilter. I'll just bring it over and give you a bit of a look. It's actually bubbling a lot harder than it was previously uh, before those wire fittings went in. So I think they have freed up a lot of the flow. A uh, bit of a design flaw I found with this, having that um, T section going across like that is stopping the uh, biomedia around the sides and the back there, it's, it's stopping it from moving. As you can see on this side, um, behind this piece here, it's moving quite freely. So um, I'm going to put in a different piece there to screen the media from taking it into the sump tank. So that's something to do in the future, it's working for now. Um, as you saw before, this is doing its job. 
can't see many solids at the moment, but yeah, chugging along. Up here we have the next Y that runs into the first tank, and I should probably open that up to full throttle. Might just check back here. And this one's still churning away a lot better than it was before, so happy with that. And up to the big fish. Uh, it all looks to be all right. Um, the water level going off the bio slime or the biofilm on the side of the um, slow pipe there all looks to be around the same height. Yeah, I'm more than happy. Um, for the first time cleaning out the filter, it was pretty effortless. So there you go, cleaning out the filter. Uh, pretty easy really. Uh, not much to it, just that pump makes it so much easier with that little drain to waste fitting on the inside, just sucking all the solids from the bottom. I would like to send out a very special thank you to a gentleman called Jim. Um, I'll put a link up here to his YouTube channel and also in the description. Jim sent me his old pH pen. Go check out Jim's channel. Um, he's got a really nice little aquaponics system, trying out a few different ideas, so check it out. Um, and thank you very much, Jim. Uh, it's just blown me away. So really do appreciate this. I've got a spare for when I stuff the other one up again. So thank you. And once again, thank you very much to everyone who comments and asks questions on the clips. Um, keeps me learning new stuff, so I am very grateful for that. And there you go. If you want to leave any comments, questions, or suggestions, pop them in the comments section below and I shall get back to you. Other than that, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic one and I shall see you on the next clip. Cheers, guys.